Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly energy update and this week we are moving into Libra season. That happens on September 22nd. I do have a video that I put out, a um, little pick a card for the Libra season which came out on Sunday the 18th. So if you're watching this when these videos come out, it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, for all you Libra sun babies, happy birthday. There is a special bonus reading at the end of that pick a card for all of you so you can check that out out too. Now this week, of course, because we're going into Libra season, we're having our new moon on September 25th, which now that we're in Libra uh, season, it is the new moon in Libra. So with the like cycles of the moons, of course, we have a cycle every 28, 29 days in moons, but we also have this annual type of cycle where like we're having a new moon in Libra now, and then in about six months from now, we will have a full moon in Libra, which allows you to see whatever you plant now in seeds around this Libra energy. You'll see it growing throughout time till it comes to fruition at the full moon of Libra next year. Now, so the most recent full moon we've had in the past was back on April 16th. So if you look around April 16th and see what may be around the subject of Libra, energies you were letting go of and you were evaluating and reviewing, you can look and see what has been removed and what you're ready to replant in its place uh, for this next kind of five or six months. So the Libra energy, of course, is around one-on-one -on -one relationships, which can be romance, friends, uh, partnering with others to help you or you helping others. It is kind of a little bit about pampering yourself and having some you know time for you and doing things for you uh, can involve of course with the scales you have the legal issues and justice being an air sign you can have some uh you know energies around overthinking <laughs> i know i'm a, a, a sun <laughs> air sign so i understand that and of course with those the you know it's all about balancing peace and harmony with those libra scales now as far as subjects around the physical body what libra rules over is the adrenal glands the buttocks kidneys diabetes and sugar levels so if any of those items are items that you do want to have some energy around and some movement and some change with that just empowers this new moon even more so so you know you get 10 new moon wishes uh, so every new moon you get this uh, 10 wishes and if you do uh, use those wishes around these subjects it just uh, aligns the energy even more so with helping bring those to fruition so you can look at those uh, of course the new moon in Libra is going to be around 3.54 p.m. Mountain Time. And you want to usually make those wishes within eight hours after that. So you have that eight hour window where it's just really the energies are just extreme to help you towards those wishes. So if you do want to know more about making new moon wishes, about your birthday wishes, uh, there's even something I call the Wampin wishes, which you can get 40 or even 80 of those a year. Um, also how you can use full moons for kind of a um, you know an unveiling and letting go type of ceremonies I do have something that I call a wish upon a star aster reading which I'll put down in the description box below there's like a, a moving price scale on those between 10 20 and 30 dollars and I'll show you what your solar return date is what your you know wampin uh, wish periods are um, you usually will have two one based on your natal chart and one based on your solar chart so you'll have this kind of information available to you and I'll give you a ton of information on that so if you want interest in any of that you can check that out in the description box below so for this reading though we're gonna move past all this we're gonna look at how we can use this Libra energy and what the Creator would like us to know about that and I'll do readings for each individual zodiac sign and we're gonna jump into yours right now all right, Cancer Signs, this is your weekly energy update, and we are going to start off by pulling a card here from these 
Sacred Creator's Oracle. Any of the cards I use in a reading, I do list in the description box below. So if any of them catch your fancy and you want them for yourself, you know where you can locate those. So let's give these a good shuffle and we'll find out what the Creator and Spirit want you to know around this Libra New Moon energy. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> So you have, what do you really want? Card number 27. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want, right? <laughs> that song's gonna be in my head now, but that's all right. Hopefully it's not gonna stick in yours too long. Sorry about that. <laughs> and let's take a look here. So it says, what do you really want? Really? beyond the parameters of what's possible and what's likely and beyond any constraints of time and money, what do you want? Regardless of your current situation and regardless of what you wanted yesterday, what's that big sacred dream that stares back at you when you allow yourself to indulge in magical thinking? If it seems like the dream is too far away to accurately conjure up in your mind's eye, then you've got some work you can do. This journey, your spiritual and creative trajectory towards your what with your why in tow is your life. It's time to ensure that you are enjoying it and that all your efforts along the way are working together to build that ideal reality that you have chosen. Be mindful that you are not toiling away at a tiny, superficial, or safe version that could never bring your soul the joy it desires. Be mindful of spending energy building something that will never be enough. Instead, define what success means to you and know how you'll feel when you've reached your goal. What do you truly desire? Only by clearly defining it can you finally see the path that will take you there. Wow. Yeah, so definitely some clarity around here of finding what it is uniquely you want to do. What, you know, what's your what is your dream? Not what someone else's dream is that they hand it to you, but what is your dream for your life? And uh, how will you feel when you get that thing? I, I usually say if you wake up in the morning going, oh, crap, I got to go live my dream today. Then, you know, that's not your dream. It's someone else's dream that you took on as your own at some point in your life. But this is about you finding what you really want to do. And we'll have your ask your guides oracle here and we will see what they have to add to this dream life for you all right there we go all right so what else for our cancer signs what else did you like them to know okay this is the one right here and you've got leadership and you got the holy spirit <laughs> So the spirit world is definitely chatting it up. That is card number 51. Whoop. This is about charisma, enterprise, authority, motivation. What's your motivation? What do you really want, right? <laughs> so the Holy Spirit is encouraging you to consciously and fully embrace the leadership role that you're carving out for yourself. Through your focus, dedication, stability, and discipline, you're emerging from the background and becoming recognized for both your competence and your wisdom. Others are naturally attracted to your charismatic vibration and will follow your lead as they rightfully sense that you can be trusted. The Holy Spirit is your guiding force as you motivate and inspire others. Indeed, the very word inspire comes from the word spirit and means to invite or to inhale the Holy Spirit into your life and move towards your creative and spiritual best. The Holy Spirit affirms that your assignment for now is to shine your bright light on the world and make no apologies for your enthusiasm or confidence as you lead others to higher ground. Be mindful, however, not to overdrive yourself and become disconnected from your source or you risk getting burnt out. 
Enthusiasm is like fire and must be contained or it can consume you. So the Holy Spirit's message here is lead with confidence. So definitely they're saying move forward. Find your dream and move forward in it. It's time for you to not wait around for someone to bring the dream to you and for you to for them actually they were gonna they were kind of saying for waiting for someone to give you permission to go live your dream, but they're like, hey, if you need someone to give you permission to go live your dream, well now you have it. So go live your dream. <laughs> So beautiful. <laughs> then we're going to use the Tarot of the Magical Forest. See what else they have to add here. But I love this. It's time to start living, live, live. So let's see here. What else would you like our Cancer signs to know, please? Okay. Well, here you go. Boom, 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 boom. Here's your five cards. All at once, they're just like, here. Now go, run, run. <laughs> Well, climb the ladder, right? And you've got the yep, Ten of Cups. So this is all about emotional fulfillment, filling up and letting it overflow out to the world. This is not how you feel about what you're doing and pursuing now. Then that's not what's for you. You know in your heart what will bring you joy, what will make you feel just this fulfillment and overflowing with beautiful beautiful emotion so uh they're like if that's not how you feel like it said and you're not sure what it is then there's some investigation that that can be done it's about taking time to connect to the spirit world get away from everything and just really discover what is it in your heart that brings you joy that makes your soul sing you know how uniquely would you want to share the unconditional love that's in your heart with the world how do you want to do that and that is your dream and you have the knight of wands coming in here so wands is your drive your ambition your passion your inspiration the knights all they you know they quest that's what knights do and this knight quests after the ace of wands which is new beginnings it's new energy it's living your passion it's finding that new passion so you're on this quest to find the passion for your life i mean it's all here <laughs> and then you have the moon yeah perfect and we're all talking about the new moon in libra so the new moon energy is definitely making itself known here and this is about the unknown the subconscious uh, diving deep into what you don't see connecting to the higher realms and uh, you know because we are so much influenced by the phases of the moon because our human side is made up of a lot of water and so like it affects the tides of the planet it also affects our, uh, the tides of us so i talked about how you can do new moon wishes and you can use this you know energy of this new moon to dive deeper and to put action and put you know this uh kind of opening to allow the universe to bring the information to bring the steps to help you uh, move in this direction where you will uniquely and authentically share you with the world instead of trying to meet up to what someone else wanted you to be and then you have the knight of pentacles so another night you're questing here for more self-worth the ace of pentacles that this night searches for is about understanding how they relate their worth to the outside world and like it talked about here defining the definition of success because the pentacle is about your abundance and so when you define what abundance means to you what success means to you you gain control and so this is your quest you're searching for gaining your power you where you hold your mighty uh, magic wand and and are uh, pointing your energy in the direction that you want to grow things and then you're also on this quest to understand the power that you hold in defining your own self-worth because self-worth comes from the inside trying to please people on the outside that's retail price that's how you feel you are worth to people on the outside but you are finding the solid self-worth from within so this quest that you're on is beautiful <laughs> 
and you have the six of swords. So swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes. This is movement, a movement card. And by the way, the knights are movement. So you have a lot of movement that's going on where you're leaving things behind that no longer serve you and moving into new locations. These are that you're leaving old thoughts behind that no longer serve you in beliefs and you're moving forward into calmer waters. But um, all of these represent movement, all these three. And the Knight of Pentacles, it's the outside world. So it moves a little more slowly than our inner world. So this Knight moves very, very fast. This is movement of your mind. So those things move faster. And it's like a little reminder, be patient with the outside world. We don't change from the outside in, we change from the inside out. So it'll take time for those inner changes you're doing to make it to the outside world. But be patient with yourself and with the world because it will unfold. And it starts on the inside though, because we do change from the inside out. And then we're your final card here for this reading. We are going to pull from the Wild Offering Oracle. Just see what their final message is for this reading for you. Okay, actually, they do want this top one right here. And you have companionship. I'll let you see that and then I'll read it. And it says, when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the one, uh, the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. So they are showing that this is important for you to do this on your own physically. Holy Spirit, you always have you're never, ever, ever alone. You always have your whole posse of support on the other side, right? You have the Holy Spirit, which is spirit. You have the creator. You've got your guardian angel, all your angels. Uh, you've got your spirit guides. You've got loved ones on the other side. You have your ancestors. You've got unicorns and fairies and leprechauns, whatever you believe those beings on the other side of unconditional love and light are. This is them, you know, letting you know that you are never alone. Uh, and that they're always with you, guiding you. They won't mess uh, and meddle with your free will because they respect it so much. But when you want assistance from them, all you have to do is ask of your own free will, can you give me guidance? Can you give me some signs? Help! <laughs> and they are more than willing to assist you. Now, there are things, of course, before we come down here that we're like, I, I want to learn this and this situation, leave me alone. I need to understand what it feels like to be alone. And so I kind of need you to be stand by silently. I still feel you there, but just be silent because I need to figure this out. I want to be able to figure this out by myself. But then after this point, metal, 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 please, I want you to, you know, to do these things in my life. So there are little things that we decide and have condition, not really conditions, but we're like, this is the agreement. You know, it's like a little kid that wants to pour milk in a glass for the first time. They're like, I want to do it. And you're like, Okay, it's important for you to learn this because I do not want to have to pour your milk for the rest of my life. So I think that you're ready. Now I'm going to go get the mop and the paper towels. And um, and if you need help, ask for it. And so you give them the plastic pitcher, not the glass one. They're going to give you the plastic pitcher and the plastic glass. And I go, okay go ahead and then there's going to be spillage you know they know it but the little child wanted to have um, themselves to, to try it and we offered if you need my help just ask for it and so when they're like oh my gosh i'm about to spill everything help then they'll help you know but if they're like no no matter what even if i spill the whole thing i want to do it and then you're like okay and then Mil more milk ends up on the table than it does in the glass and that's okay they get better and we learn and we grow right <laughs> so that's kind of what they're saying so i love this message for you they're being pretty pretty funny today so 
Uh, if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately so you don't miss out on them, uh, if you give this video a little thumbs up and you click that like button and then also click the subscribe button, uh, it'll give you access to that little notification bell. And when you go in there, there is an option for all. And if you select that, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel immediately. Also doing those things, it does help spread the love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like a video or you share a video, comment on the video, especially subscribing to the channel, uh, doing all of those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy. It does want to share the videos of this channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of that, I am so very grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and actually on a sliding price scale, which means you can choose between a few different price points on what you want to pay for one of my recorded readings, and all that information is listed in the description box down below. All right, all of you Cancer signs, as you go throughout this Libra new moon energy, please know every second of every day of your life that you truly are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I also love you too. You have an amazing week. I'm sure we'll be talking soon, but in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.